What's good everyone, Smiling Grove here, back playing Assetto Corsa Competizione, and we are going to continue in the career mode venture that we began. Very excited to continue in this career mode. In the last video, based on our pace, the game did say that we should have the difficulty set to normal. However, I decided to set it to hard because I really want to improve my driving throughout this game. We have a long time. And I think that we can do better. And midfield battles are so much more fun than just being in the front of the pack. So here we go, headed back to Monza, the Temple of Speed. Alright guys, so I don't know if you noticed that transition, however, in order to kind of make this video uh, compact and not just countless hours of me driving around Monza in the wet, I decided to focus on my best laps. So I pulled together the best laps, put them in here, and that's all you're going to see. Pace has definitely improved, um, even in the wet, we're doing well, however, we're still in last. So really going to have to look at using the setups. I don't know why I can't find the pace here. Um, I feel like Alfa Romeo in the F1 2020 season. But driving is uh, better than it was for sure. I'm thrilled to be doing this series. Hopefully the driving will continue to get better. And if you guys have any suggestions, if you notice anything I'm doing specifically that can help, please shout it out, leave it in the comment section below, because I would love to improve my driving and, and have better racing for everyone. One thing I am noticing is the tire pressure. I think that that could definitely be adjusted to help with pace. So we'll look at that going forward. Right now I'm just running the standard uh, wet setup that they have in the game But I am so excited to start racing uh, I can't wait to get done with this program. It's fun, but I want to race I want to have other cars with me now. There are cars on the track, but They're either behind well, let's be real. They're all in front of me <laughs> um, But yeah guys so we're gonna have our best, I think this is my best lap coming up in the wet. I think it's like a 206, 2062. I think that is the best lap of this session. I've definitely improved in this first part in the Red Affilio Chicane. I'm starting to actually hit the apex, but I think I might still be breaking a little bit too early but I would rather break early there than break late because it sends you right into those, um, oh, what are they called? Well, it sends you straight, and I can't think of the name right now, but there's some cardboard pieces in there that Sebastian v Cardboard are made of some type of breakable material that we all saw when uh, Sebastian Vettel in the Ferrari took that in Monza, yep, a couple weeks ago when they had the GP in Monza, so we did see that. Well, since we had that mess up, now we are definitely uh, slower. And as you can see in the top left corner, we're in the red. So just like that, one mistake, and you're in the red. <laughs> That's where we're at, racing, driving, and debt very similar coming up to Ascari not bad not bad so this will be our last lap on this um, this test program in the wet and then we'll move on to something else we'll see 
if our best lap was at 206. I'm sure it will be because uh, we're coming around the corner now. 151 into Parabolica. And we're slow again. Yeah, we're going to have to work on that. Really going to have to work on that. But the game, like I said, guys, it's so much fun. And it's going to help us improve our driving over time. All right, so we got a bronze for that session. I'm pretty happy with... Oh, and we let go of the steering wheel again. I really have to stop doing that. But spinning cars is so much fun. But bronze for that session, that's not bad, guys. Uh, like I said, it did say that we should go on normal difficulty. I want to go on hard. So now we're going to nighttime driving. And it should be dry. So nighttime dry. Let's see what our pace is. driving test you will be evaluated based on your fastest lap but always remember that the first priority is to drive consistently avoid incidents or cutting the track be safe and have fun out there all right guys so here we go we are nighttime driving again i just pulled together the best laps that we had on track that way it wasn't just constant driving around monza although i'm sure you guys are really enjoying watching driving around monza it is such a beautiful track and just an amazing place to drive around but i am sure everyone is ready for some real racing i can't change the way the career is put together i'm just going through it piece by piece that's what we're doing but here we go driving around monza in at night it definitely changes things when you're driving at night i'm sure you guys know just from driving at night in real life but finding those braking markers and Finding those points is completely different, but it's still so much fun. So I'm having a blast doing it. I definitely think that the only way we're really gonna pick up pace going forward is to adjust the setup on the car. I think the standard setup is strictly just a baseline and in order to really have uh, better pace and just better all overall car you're gonna have to adjust the setup so I'm definitely gonna be working on that especially going into race number one soon but I do think even in the night driving here that we are getting better with the pace I, I don't remember exactly what the timing was uh, from the first video but I think we were in the high the high 159s or something like that okay so we just did a 159.1 which was our best lap for this section I don't remember if we did better than that or worse uh, if you guys remember from the last video please be sure to leave a comment below Oh, I like being in the green, just like not having debt. Being in the green is good. So we're definitely getting better going around this track. I almost can guarantee though that we're gonna do all this practice and this will not be the track that we race on come race day. I can almost guarantee it. But yeah, we'll just see, we'll see what happens. Still in the green. Coming through the Lesmos. All right, not bad. So guys, I hope so far you have enjoyed this series. I'm having a lot of fun making it. And we got a long season to go, so it's going to be non-stop. Remember, I post every Sunday 
I don't have a specific time on Sunday, but I do post every Sunday. And we'll continue this career mode. Coming up to Parabolica. And I honestly wonder if I should be taking this corner in third or fourth. I've taken it in fourth at times. And I've taken it in third. And I don't necessarily know if one is faster than the other. But. Oh. Okay, so I just realized I did a little editing there. And this is now the final lap on this uh, test. So we'll see what we do. Obviously, we didn't do very good. Oh, man. No medals on this one. But best lap, 159.1. Pretty good. And I don't even think I let go of the steering wheel there. But we just did a 720 at least. So I'm... Oh, and we hit another car. So if you enjoy Cars and Carnage, this is the channel you want to be on. Because that's what we make happen for sure. Let's do a little replay. Let's see what happened. So I come across the line, and I just lose it. Back end just loses it. There's a 360. 720. All right. And I don't think I can even see him. I'm pulling out. Yeah, I don't see him. There's no way. There's no way you can tell me that he couldn't make way for that. Let's see. Let's pull it in from his view. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah. He's spinning every which way. All right. Is he going to do 1080? How about that? 1080 on that. Beautiful. And with reverse direction. Oh, look at that car spinning. It looks like it's on a... Uh, one of those car carousels. All right, guys. So it's asking me to select a car for the career. I had a choice between the Jag and the Porsche. Uh, I love my German car, so I'm going to go with Porsche. Do a quick Grove Motorsport. Car number three, of course. Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc as my teammates. And here we go. Zolder is going to be our first race weekend. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and share. And come back for number three. As always, stay smiling.